Hi there, this is a video walkthrough of how to tune your violin. I'm making this for one of my students and I hope that you'll find it useful too. So let's tune your violin. This is what the A should sound like. Listen to your A and see whether it sounds like it's higher than mine or lower than mine. If it's higher than mine, you have to loosen the string. If it's lower than mine, you have to tighten it. If it's too low, you can tighten it down here by turning it clockwise. If it's really low, you can tighten it here, making sure you push in while you're turning it, if you turn it away from you, it goes up. If you do it towards you, it goes down. Here's that A string again. Right, I'm going to move on to the D string. Here's the G string. And here's the E string. When the difference between what you want and what you hear is big, you'll use your tuning pegs like this. And when the difference is not very much, you'll use your fine tuners that are down here. Tightening this peg is going away from you. Loosening it is going towards you. Tightening this, you go righty-tighty, right? You go right to go tight, left to go loose. One way to tune your violin is by listening to a note and matching your string. Find the note that you want by listening to a piano or another instrument, or sometimes tuners have what's known as a tone generator, and that will give you the note that you want to. So I'm going to have an A, and I'm going to try to match my A to that. You can either pluck, you can hear, that doesn't sound right, or you can bow. So you can hear how bad that sounds. I'm going to just pluck it. You can use your bow, and I'm going to try moving this A string peg up. I'm pushing in as I go, and I'm not gonna go very far because it's not really, really out of tune. It's not quite there, you hear the difference? Now when it's that close, I'm going to use my fine tuner. Well, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So I got that by turning this fine tuner. It needed to go up. I could hear that it needed to go up, so I was turning that. So, next note. I always do the A first. I always do the D next. So let's find a D. So you have to ask yourself, is this higher or is it lower than the D we're hearing? This is higher. It's not very high. I'm going to try using these fine tuners. There, you hear how that matches? pretty close. In fact, I think that matches pretty well. To be sure, I'm going to use my bow. I think that sounds pretty good. All right, so let's try the E. The safest bet with the E string is to use the fine tuner. I'm going to try using the peg and show you how little I'm going to turn it. 
So that was just a tiny little bit, but I think I did pretty well. It's a little bit too high, so I'm gonna turn it like, I'm gonna turn it down. And now it's matching. So here's an example of a tuner. This tuner has a dial here. When this needle is pointing to the letter name of the note, the note is in tune. It also has, this particular tuner has a nice thing where this will up here tell you whether you're too high or too low or what pitch the tuner is hearing. Other tuners will have the needle go straight up when you're in tune, it'll flash that note and the needle will be going straight up when you hit it. So this violin is very out of tune. That's supposed to be an A. So it's really, really high. So since it's really, really high, I am going to come over here. I'm going to use my tuning pegs to fix it. So. I'm gonna trace this as my A string, and it's this second peg here. And now I'm going to very slightly bring it down. So just a little bit. See, so now it's telling me that my, I'm playing an A, but it's really sharp because it says tune down. And you can also see the needle. There we go, you can see the needle was above this A. So I'm going to, Bring it down a little bit more. I think I went too far. So now, you can see now it says tune up. I'm going to go over here to these fine tuners. And there it is. See, it says A, it says got it, it's green, and the needle is right on the A. It's maybe a little bit high, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. You have to be careful with E strings because the E string will break if you go too far. So now this is really, really out of tune. It's like an A. So I'm going to turn, this is the E string peg. So here's your E string. I follow it up and look at the winding there and follow up up to here, E string. So I'm going to turn it. And while I turn it, I'm going to push in. So I'm pushing towards this way while I turn it. And I'm listening to it while I go. So now I'm just a little bit too low. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make this tighter to go up. There we are. So here's my D string. So we want a D, C is below D, right? So we're gonna go up and I'm going to use my peg over here. You can see I'm not going very much. So I'm going to try to get it the rest of the way by using my fine tuner. Now I've run into an interesting problem. So this fine tuner is all the way down. So what I have to do now is I have to loosen it. So that now it's sticking out more, you see? And now I'm going to have to tune it with my peg. There we go. So here's the G. So you can see it says tune up, but it also says I'm an A. And notice this too. Let's see if I can get it go back. It says flat there. So you also have to watch out when you're going, trying to tune something that it doesn't have a flat sign or a sharp sign on the other side. So that's a perfectly in tune A flat, but that's not what we want. So I'm going to bring it down and I'm pushing in like I showed you. So sometimes it's just trial and error. You just have to listen. So now I'm going to use this fine tuner to go the rest of the way. And now my violin is nice and in tune. 
So I hope you found this helpful. I hope that you are now able to tune your violin easily. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. If there are any questions or if there's anything I missed, please feel free to put it in the comments and I will answer your questions. Thanks for watching and happy practicing.